You ever been scrolling through Netflix for like two hours and finally you just say, fuck it, and just click on some random movie? Happened to me, man. So let's talk about it. It's Drewski McGillicuddy's Bad Match Movie Review. Hey everybody, it's Drewski McGillicuddy, and today I want to talk to you about a movie I watched late last night at like one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I just sat there. I started. I started scrolling through uh, Netflix at uh, probably nine thirty, and then at one o'clock in the morning, I finally just said, "To hell with it!" And I clicked on a movie called Bad Match from 2017, directed by somebody I ain't never heard of, couldn't be bothered to remember their name, and starring uh, some people that I ain't never heard of, and couldn't be bothered to remember their name. Okay, now at first, I was thinking, well, this looks like one of those uh, direct-to-video type movies, but uh, I kind of found myself entertained uh, by this guy, Harris. It's about this guy, Harris. Uh, he works for an advertising agency. He's a pitch guy, uh, but he, he lives in this nice apartment. Uh, he's got all the modern technology. He's playing video games with some kid that's talking about his mother, and then he's telling him to suck his dick. You know how kids are when they're playing the Call of Duties. Uh, but the funny thing is, while they're playing the video game, it looks like they're playing Gears of War or something, but they're using a PS4 controller and uh, I don't think Gears of War is on PS4. I also don't think that it's like a co-op game like that where you fight each other to the death. Okay? Yeah. Or no, it's a co-op game. It's not like a... Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. So that, just was, that was just a little weird. But uh, yeah, so it's about this guy, right? He works for the thing and does the stuff. Uh, but he's a womanizer. He uh, gets on fake tender a lot. I don't know. I don't remember what it's called. Head over heels or something like that. But it's basically tender. He's one of those guys, he's just constantly swiping. He finds somebody that he's attracted to. He meets him. He puts on this charade. Uh, like, he meets him in the bar. He's got a napkin folded that looks like a rose. He gives him that. He says, uh, you want a drink? And they're like, yeah, I want a drink. And I'll be like, let me guess. Uh, vodka tonic or a vodka cranberry. He'll just guess and just randomly they'll be like, oh my God, how'd you do that? Uh, and, you know, it works every time. And then the next thing you know, they're in the sack. And then, uh, you know, once the, once the girl falls asleep, you know, he quietly creeps around and gets his... Ah! I'm tired of shit falling off my shelves, everybody. Anyway, he's creeping around getting his clothes and they wake up and they're like, oh, you're leaving? And he's like, oh, uh, I gotta work real early. Uh, and then he never talks to him again. Okay, well that happens eventually with this girl, Riley, who's like uh, the antagonist of the movie, I guess you would say. And this girl is smoking hot. Oh my God, like a 10 out of 10. Uh, and this dude just wants to bang her once and never talk to her again, which is ridiculous. I mean, what, what the hell is the matter with you people? Or this guy. Uh, people like this, you know? Because there's a lot of people out there like this. They just, they, they don't give a fuck about anything but just putting their dick in a hole. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, everybody. But uh, basically, he goes out with her. They have a really good time. And then he does the same thing to her. He sneaks off in the middle of the night. But then the next day, uh, she won't quit texting him. And texting him. And texting him while he's at work. Uh, and he tells his friend, like, this girl's crazy. She won't leave me alone. He's like, why? Because you had sex with her and now you won't talk to her and she's just crazy. So one thing leads to another and, uh, he accidentally has sex with her again, which, you know, that's not his style. He usually just, he's a one hit it, quit it, move on to the next one. But, uh, she was very persistent. Okay. But this time he made the mistake of doing it at his house. Okay, so now she falls asleep at his house. And the next day, he's got this big, important business meeting that he's got to go to because he's got to pitch uh, these people about something. Uh, watch the movie. You, you'll find out for yourself. But anyway, so uh, 
his alarm doesn't go off because the when she kept texting him and stuff while he was trying to work, he put his phone on silent, even though his phone would have still went off when the alarm, because when putting it on silent it doesn't turn your alarm off. Anyway, that's beside the point. Basically, his alarm does go off, but she, uh, you know, half asleep, just goes, whoop, and turns it off. And then, you know, the, his friend at work's trying to get a hold of him for hours and hours and hours, and he wakes up to the sound of his phone vibrating. And he answers the phone, he's like, hello? And he's like, where the fuck are you, you son of a bitch? You missed everything. You're blah, 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 blah. He's like, do I still have a job? He's like, I don't know. And he gets down there, and it's, you know, he just barely still has his job. Uh, but then he gets back, and he's kind of mad because, you know, she turned his alarm off. Uh, but he tells her before he leaves to go to work, because he doesn't, you know, even though he misses the meeting, he still wants to show up and find out if he still has his job. So he tells her, you know, I don't have time to take you home. How did you get here? She's like, I took an Uber. He said, well, can you take an Uber back? She's like, yeah, I'll, I'll leave and I'll lock up uh, when I leave, after you leave, blah, da, 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 da. So uh, a couple hours later, he goes to work, he comes home, and uh, there's music playing. And uh, there's somebody in there, and it's her. She never left. She never left. So, hey, I mean, he's kind of an asshole uh, for, you know, trying to hit it and quit it let alone twice. Uh, but that is kind of fucked up. You know, you tell somebody, hey, you know, let yourself out. Uh, and they did. They let themselves out to go to the grocery store. And she was nice enough to go to the grocery store and bring stuff back to cook him dinner. But it's still, it's kind of like, like, come on now. You know, obviously, you know what this is. Shouldn't she? I don't know if she should know what it is. But apparently she doesn't know what it is because she thinks he likes her and she likes him. Uh, but then, you know, he tells her, I, I already ate, uh, but I got I got stuff I got to do. la di da di da di da di da you know, move on. And she leaves. <clears throat> and then he goes back to not answering her anymore. Uh, and he tells his friends one night, you know, he tells her he's sick. He goes out with his friends. And, you know, she's, you know, a creeper. So she figures out where he is. And she's walking up on him as he's explaining to his friends, remind me to never bang the same crazy bitch twice. Uh, now she knows where he lives and stuff and she overhears this shit and she calls him out on him and says, you son of a bitch and asshole motherfucker. Uh, fuck you, you piece of shit. Uh, it causes a big old scene in the bar. And it's like, it serves you right, asshole. Uh, you, you, you should uh, consider other people's feelings uh, before doing uh, shitty shit to people. You know, because it's kind of fucked up. Uh, you know, just have sex with somebody and then just try to never talk to him again. Like, at least lean, or, you know, wean yourself into never talking to him again. That's rude. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, so uh, one thing leads to another. Uh, he goes to work the next day. Uh, turns out uh, he gets called into the office. Somebody tweeted, and he's the, uh, the tweeter handle handler. He's the handler of the tweeter account at work. And somebody got on there and tweeted, my boss is retarded, this job is retarded, uh, everything's retarded. And it, it, he's like, well, obviously it wasn't me. I have no idea what you're talking about. And they're like, yeah, well, it's not that simple. Uh, so he loses his job. <laughs> and then it gets worse, okay? It gets worse. And I don't even know if I want to go any further uh, because I kind of want everybody to watch this movie if they haven't seen it. Because something else happens, and it's absolutely horrific. One of the worst things you could probably do to a person. And uh, he thinks she did it, and he got to prove that she did it. Uh, the only way to prove that she did it is some fucked up shit that you're just going to have to watch and find out for yourself what happens. Because then, once we get to the final ending, and there's some, some kind of twist that happens, you're like, what?! That's, that's basically what happened. It, it, it showed the last scene of the movie, it happened, and then the credits rolled, and I'm like, what? But, oh, she's probably fucking sleeping, shit. So I had to fucking sit there, go to sleep, and then wait until eight o'clock in the morning, I come out of the living room like, babe, guess what? Uh, I watched a movie last night. It was about this guy who's an asshole. He's on Twitter or uh, Tumblr. 
Or where the fuck that goddamn site's called? And he kept swiping. And he'd find Bart bitches and he'd fuck them. And then he wouldn't talk to him again. Then he found the wrong bitch to fuck with. And there's some shit. And what? And it, and I, now I gotta admit, this movie didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to. I thought it was gonna be like more of a... I don't know what I thought. Uh, but the fact that this movie just came out of nowhere on Netflix, never heard of it, never seen it advertised, it made me... It, 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 it reminded me... It reminded me when I used to work at Blockbuster, okay? And I would rent the movies and have like, you know, here'd be uh, all the major releases. And then uh, right next to it, there'd be one single movie and nothing else next to it. You rent that movie, you go home, you watch it, and it's fucking gold, okay? Because this movie's fucking gold. Uh, even though he's an unlikable character, he's he's very uh, entertaining. It's, it, this is a very watchable movie. I don't know how uh, rewatchable it is, but then again, it might be rewatchable. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and then just the ending, because the, the acting's good too. Even though I've never heard of the people, the acting in this movie's good too. Uh, but the, like just the way the series of events that unfold in this movie are just something you've got to experience because it's you know for you know as, as far as I'm concerned slightly original like stuff like this has happened in movies but just I don't know the twist at the end of this fucking movie bravo motherfucker bravo okay uh, so I don't even yeah, this movie it gets a gold star is that what I said is this giving it a gold star okay uh if you have Netflix, uh, check this movie out. And, and you know, if, if Lee McCoy or Cody Leach happen to see this, uh, you should probably check this movie out. Jason Smith over there at Sinister Cinema. If you happen to see this, check this movie. Any of you motherfuckers that have YouTube channels, Devon Graham, you son of a bitch, check this movie out. I want to hear your fucking thoughts over there for at least 11 minutes and 42 seconds. Or something like that. Anyway, I gotta go, okay? I had gotten a bunch of stuff and I was going to show it to you, but then I decided uh, to hell with you people. Uh, maybe I'll show it to you tomorrow. I don't know. I got a lot going on. It's the weekend. I'm trying to relax. Uh, Y'all are stressing me out, making me have to talk uh, nonsense all the time. No, I'm kidding. I don't know what I'm talking about. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you click that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Uh, until then... <laughs>